What's going on, YouTubers? Budget Vapors here. Today, I got a new item to show you guys, and it's the Wismic Relo RX2 slash 3. I do apologize for the noise. I got the windows wide open. I just got done painting, I'm trying to get this paint to dry up a little faster. But let's just dive down, get straight to the mod. <clears throat> I have the mod taken out already. It's how the box looks like. It says Wismic Relo RX2 slash 3. And the back. This is the gray version. It does come in multiple colors white, black gold cyan and gray it comes with the mod two battery covers usb cable manual and a warning card all right let's just toss this to the side and let's just take a look at the mod basically this is exactly the same as the rx 200 with the only difference is this can do two batteries or three batteries this is how the three batteries looks like we all know how rx 200 200s looks like but this is where it shines two batteries a new firmware update just came out with two batteries right now. It goes up to 200 watts, and if you do the three batteries, it goes up to 250 watts. Fire button, same kind of screen as the 200S. Only difference is the up and down button is now one button. This mod scrolls kind of fast, pretty fast. Goes up to two, 200 right here. <clears throat> USB port for firmware update and charging. Fire button. It says Relo RX2 slash 3, 510 is spring loaded. You got a little venting right here. Venting right here, Wismic. Some more venting, and this is where the, bu the button to press for your battery door. All right, and your basic functions. One, two, three, four, five to go off. One, two, three, four, five to come on. One, three clicks to get into the menu. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, here we go. Oh, one, two, three. Of course, I'm back. All right, here we go. Of course, you got your regular power mode, nickel mode, titanium, stainless steel, and your TCR. All right, and temperature goes up from 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, basically, it's the same mod as a 200S, but this takes two and three batteries. 510 is the same old old 510. The 510 has not been improved. It's it's not the best 510. <clears throat> and it, and how Wismic made this is the 510 pin. It's kind of lower, so not every tank fits well on this. I think that this they did this on purpose so they so you can only buy their own like their kind of tanks and it fits good but other companies the other tanks don't fit that well let me give you an example i have a horizon arctic v8 mini and let me put this in right here and you'll see what i'm talking about it's all the way down right now but you can see it's flushed but it wobbles can't really you can't really see it but it does wobble so it's not like it's not still so the 510 is junk it's not it's not great pros about this the form factor i really do love it, it it's so comfortable in the hand it's not the lightest mod but it's all right you can still carry this out with you if you don't need all the battery life you could use it under the two battery mode. If you need a lot of battery life, you could use it under three battery mode. And uh, form factor is really nice again. Battery door. If you can see right here, under the. If you use it under the three battery, you won't see it as much. But under the two batteries right here, you can see a little gap right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here we go. It's not fully covered, flush. So that might be a con to some of you guys. Other than that, price point, I paid $44.99. If you never had a Rolo, this is the time to get it. A, it's only, I think, $5 more than a RX200 and a 200S. The 200S right now, they go for like $39.99, somewhere around there. And the RX200 is maybe $29.99. But this is $44.99, just five more dollars more than the RX200S. <clears throat> Would I recommend this? Yes. Why? Because the price point. It's $44.99. It's not like it's a $200 mod, a $100 mod. $45. It's not bad. You don't expect... And don't expect this to last forever. It's only $45 again, once again. But, uh, yeah. I highly recommend this. It's just the form factor. I love... 
how it feels in the hand. Another con, the battery door. It's not magnetic no more. Like the old 200 and 200S where you could just take it out like that. They use these hinges right here. You know what? Let me just pop it out. Show you guys. It's not like you could just put them. It's not magnetic. You could just put it back on. You see this hinge right here? It goes inside right there. It's just a pain in the ass to get on. It's not the best, but I don't know why they did this. If they made it magnetic, it'll be perfect. This would be a perfect mod. Price point wise, you got the power, battery life, and it's compact. <clears throat> All right, I'll put links in the description below where I got it. If you like this review, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you vapors on the next episode.